Hey guys, Matt here with Built Right Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to install our cargo area molly panel kit on a four door Ford Bronco. Um, this is our 2021 Wild Track. You can see it's got a hard top here. Uh, this kit is compatible with soft top. We will address that as we go. No problem at all. Um, this installation is going to take you 20 to 30 minutes per panel if you're going at a comfortable speed, uh, depending on how long you decide to take attaching your own accessories. So I'm going to give you a rundown of what the kits, what the kit should include. I encourage you to check that you've got all the pieces you're going to need. We'll talk about the tools we're going to use and then we'll get right into it. All right. So this is a relatively simple installation. Does require a lot of tools. You're going to need a ratchet, a T50 Torx socket, a 13 millimeter socket. This, I should mention, this T50 Torx could also be uh, just an L-shaped key. That, that's just fine also. Uh, you're gonna need two Allen keys. One is 5 seconds. The other is 16th inch. You're gonna want a pick tool or a prying tool or a small screwdriver, something of that nature to move the, uh, the interior plastics. And then I'm gonna cheat a little bit just to save some time and give you a better view by using this uh, M12 uh, uh, cordless ratchet. So uh, now that you got the tools that you need, let's go ahead and start the install. Okay, so we are just going to do the installation on the driver's side. I've already got the passenger side installed, uh, but the two sides are identical. In fact, they are the same kit, which you probably already know by now. So your kit, your kit should include the large panel, which I'll grab in a second. It should include two of these lower brackets. They are mirrored versions of each other. So if you end up with the two same brackets somehow, uh, let us know, we'll sort it out. But you're looking for two mirrored brackets here. These are the lower brackets. These are the top brackets. These brackets are the same. You've got a little hardware kit. It's going to install some hardware that you only need if you have a hard top. Again, we'll talk about that. Uh, four quarter 20 size button head bolts, your Built Red Industries laser engraved brand tag there, and then two very small screws to install this on the panel. So I'm going to grab the panel and we're going to start by installing this. All right, so I've got our panel here. I'm going to set it roughly in place to give you an idea what we're working with here. Uh, this panel is ambidextrous. This panel is going to work again on either side of your vehicle. Um, so set it in a place so you can kind of see uh, which side you want to install this brand tag on. And then I'm going to get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is use these, these two very small button head screws to install our brand tag. I'm going to throw one in there so that I don't have to hold it with my big fat fingers and get that started. These panels are fitted with a permanently installed flush mount threaded insert. So you should be able to pretty easily get this installed. If you happen to lose one of these screws, give us a call and we'll either get you another one or tell you where to find one. Doesn't need much torque. So I've got this installed. Next, I'm gonna move this panel out of the way because we don't need it for a little while. Just gonna move it to the other side here. All right, so now we'll get started with the install. I'm gonna start by doing the two lower brackets and then we'll move to the upper brackets. So these are the upper brackets. I'm gonna set those aside. This is the hardware for the upper bracket. I'm gonna set that over here. And I'm gonna set these four small screws over here as well so that we're just working with these two brackets. So I'm gonna start with my pick tool. And you've got on top of your tie downs here, these neat little Easter egg lasso plastic covers. Um, the front edge here has a little clip in it. So if you just sort of pry up somewhere in here, that should release just like that. I'm going to hold it up. And then there's just two little tabs back here. So I'm just going to pull this forward. No problem. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the front tie down. Moving it out of the way, pull it up and pull it forward. We're going to set these out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do is use our 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolts on the front and rear tie downs here. Now I've had these in and out a bunch for development, so mine are gonna come out without too much drama. Again, two bolts on the tie down, we're gonna set those aside. We will, we will be reusing those. Now, if when you're removing these bolts, it feels like you're getting hung up or cross-threaded or they come out and they feel a little bit tight, you're gonna wanna use an M8 by 1.25 tap 
to clean up the threaded holes and potentially a die to run the bolt through. So I, again, I'm not anticipating I'll have any problems here. But if something comes out and your bolt's kind of junked up or, or uh, the threads look rough, um, you're definitely gonna benefit from cleaning up those threads before you reinstall it. Part of the reason this happens is that there can get paint in the threads here. Um, these threads, if you look through the holes, I mean, that, they're actually exposed to the outside elements. So um, it's not too surprising that that happens and Ford probably was not anticipating that we would be horsing around with these. So now I've got my four exposed threaded holes here. I'm gonna start with the forward bracket. I'm gonna slip it into place up front. I'm gonna do the same with the rear and then we'll reinstall the tie downs. I'm just installing the driver side because I've already installed the passenger side. So I'm gonna slip these brackets just up the sides here. Um, if you were doing both sides, it may be easier for you to just take the tie downs out of both sides so that this whole uh, subfloor can be moved around and, and, and shifted so that you can get all the brackets into place in one shot. But I'm gonna show you how to do it this way. If you're concerned with scratching up your plastics at all, um, and these plastics do kind of scratch up pretty easily, um, Feel free to put some blue painter's tape there just for this step. We'll slide the brackets into place and then you can remove them. Our plastics are a little dinged up because we've been developing products and, uh, and we're a little bit rough with them, to be honest. So let's talk about how we're gonna tell these two brackets apart. This is the orientation of the rear and the front bracket. So you can see we want the two tabs to essentially be closer together as opposed to farther apart. So this is the rear bracket. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna slide this front one Underneath here, I'm just going to be kind of gentle. And once we're up front here, you can see how our holes line up with the two slots. You got plenty of room for shifting this back and forth. You got plenty of space. This bracket looks like it's in about the right spot. We're going to leave that there for now and I'm gonna do the same with the rear bracket. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and get the rear bracket into place. This one, of course, is quite simple. Slide it into place here. Now give the brackets a look. Make sure that the holes are lined up in the slots. Um, you're gonna notice their, their alignment with the slots a little bit different. The slots are um, long because we use the same brackets. You would basically flip these around on the other side. So all that to say, as long as your brackets are flush against the plastic here, you are good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead with the brackets in place. I'm gonna reinstall our tie downs. Once again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure these threads are clean and you're gonna to wanna to start them by hand so that we don't risk making a bad situation worse. Those are started by hand, so I'm gonna snuggle them up. And then I'm gonna put our plastic cover back on. Should click into place. And I'm gonna repeat the same on the front, getting these bolts started. Couple of threads in there. That one's a little sticky, there we go. And we'll replace the plastic cover. Next we'll move up to the top. Uh, in the four-door Bronco, the bolts that we need are back behind this plastic panel. So this plastic panel is held on by a series of uh, just tension clips. So you're gonna wanna just pull, you're gonna feel it pop, and then just kinda work your way around. You're trying not to pry like this, you're trying to pull straight out. So on the back of the panel, this is what we're just fighting against. We're just pulling those straight out. Um, and then this side is kind of hooked under here. So just so that you know what you're dealing with, uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. We are gonna reuse it. Now this is where I wanna mention the difference between the hard top and the soft top. The hard top, you can see we've got these two threaded features here exposed. That's great. This is what we're gonna use for our top brackets. On a soft top, you've got a bracket here, a stamped bracket that's holding the mechanism for the, for the soft top. So we're gonna leave that bracket in place. We're using these same two holes to mount our upper brackets. So to accommodate the thickness or to make up for the thickness that we're missing 
by not having that bracket in this vehicle because it's a hard top, that's what we're going to use this white spacer for. And because we don't have that soft top, we're also going to use the included M8 bolt. So if you have a soft top, you're not going to need this or this. You're going to use the factory hardware. So I'm going to get this bolt started in there, just like that. And then I'm going to take one of my upper brackets. They're both the same. And I'm going to get it tightened in just like this. All right, so now that this is uh, snug, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this bracket a little bit using my 13 millimeter socket, making sure that the bracket's about flat there. Now I'm going to repeat that procedure on this bolt. All right, so because we need to make up for the thickness of the soft top bracket in our truck, since we're a hard top, we're going to use this bolt and get it started with our spacer there. Leave it, leave it plenty loose because then we're going to take one of our upper brackets here, move it into place just like that. And then I'm going to finish tightening this with my fingers and then snug it up with a 13 millimeter socket. All right, with our two upper brackets here in place and tightened down, we're going to replace the plastic trim. Uh, this should look more or less the same, whether you've got a hard top or a soft top kind of wiggle this back into place. Remember, we've just got these clips. And then we've got kind of a hook on this side. And that's it. So everything, there should be no interference here. It will be snug. Um, but now we've got our upper, upper mounting points. We've got our lower mounting points. We're ready to put the panel in place. All right, now we've got our panel with the branding installed. We're moving it into place. I'm gonna start with the two lower bolts and I'm gonna start with the forward bolt here. We're gonna use one of the quarter 20 size button head fasteners along with our 5 30 seconds Allen key here. Set that in the hole, try and give you a good view. And then I'm gonna lift the panel into place. Get that started. I'm gonna leave it a little bit loose so that we can shift it around. I'm gonna repeat that on the rear bolt. Should have no trouble getting these started with the nice permanently installed threaded inserts on the lower brackets, but do use care just not to cross thread anything. I'm sure by now you know that that can make a short day a long one. Okay, so the bottom is snug, that's in place. You can see it's even supporting the panel pretty well. Uh, those lower brackets are what support most of the weight of the system, um, and they are quite sturdy. Now we're gonna to attach to the upper brackets here, which is gonna keep the panel basically from flopping around like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use one of the same fasteners in this top slot here. And I'm gonna get that started. I'm gonna leave it loose and repeat the same thing over here. Now you remember these brackets have uh, the slots in them which allow you to move up and down and they also can rotate a bit. So if you're a little bit out of alignment, you just may need to move the bracket into place. before you get the fastener started. This last fastener is gonna be the, the tightest one because the other three are kind of already determining where the panel is, but there we go. Now I've got that one started. Snug it up. I'll move back to the front bolt. I'll snug that up. And just like that, your installation is done. This is uh, extremely sturdy. Now you can go ahead and install your accessories. If you're installing, if you're bolting things to the panel in the vehicle, I recommend using our molly nuts, which are going to give you a threaded feature in here so you don't have to fish a, a traditional nut to the back side there. Uh, alternatively, and this is what I like to do, it's just four bolts. Take the panel out, configure it the way that you want, and then put the panel back on. All right, so now we've got our driver's side panel on here. Um, we're not going to install anything on it yet because we're gonna kind of turn that into its own video of, of how to get your panels outfitted and what your options are there. Um, but you certainly can go ahead and do that using our molly nuts. Obviously you can reach back here with a traditional nut. You might fish uh, straps for a pouch on there. 
Uh, whatever you need to get your panel set up in a way that's gonna work for you. Uh, the passenger side is exactly the same parts. It's just a mirror. Um, again, if you've got a soft top, this is gonna look a little different up there once you get the plastic trim off, but once you're done, it should look the same. There should be no issues. Um, you do have access to this pouch back here from the top. If you have any questions, comments, feedback on the installation, please feel free to give us a call. Shoot us an email, find us on Facebook, in the comments on YouTube. Wherever you are, we'll try and meet you there and get your questions answered. Thanks for watching.